You may have heard the term CPU in connection with computers. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. And it's best understood in the context of what the purpose of a computer is. And at its most fundamental, the purpose of a computer is to take in data, work with that data, and then send that data on to some other device, say another computer or a screen where you can see the data. So in order to do that, the computer needs a traffic cop or a brain, if you will. It needs a device that's in charge of coordinating all the actions needed to take in data, work with that data, and then send it on. And that brain is the CPU, the central processing unit. Now, a central processing unit is a very small device. I'm going to hold up a very large device. This is what's called a motherboard. Now, this motherboard has a lot of parts on it. You don't need to worry about all these different parts. Suffice it to say that this is where most of the important parts of the computer live. This is inside your computer. You won't see this unless you open it up. And don't do that without unplugging it and knowing what you're doing. But the central processing unit sits, in this example, right around here. And it's about that big. You see that very small square. On that little teeny tiny device are literally billions of extremely small electronic circuits. And those electronic circuits are set up to be the brains of the outfit. Now this whole board is connected to all the other important parts in the computer. It's connected to where you take in data via all these ports. It's connected via cables to other things like your storage devices where you store data. And it's connected to ports where you can send data out, say to a display. But the brains of the outfit, again, is a central processing unit. And it takes in data from any available input, be it you know, some storage device that's also inside the computer or a keyboard or that sort of thing. It works with the data. This could be, you know, alphabetizing a list or doing mathematical operations. So whatever the operation is you've called for the computer to do, the CPU, the central processing unit, does it. And finally, when it's done with that work, it sends that data on to wherever you've instructed it to, be it some storage device inside the computer or out to an external device like a monitor. So there you have it, the CPU, the central processing unit, and again, extremely small, sits on this thing called a motherboard, and the CPU is the brains of the outfit when it comes to a computer.